Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about quad rail versus A2 post rail, right? So as you guys can see, I've got the light mounted on this uh, little rail here. This one is from Tough Zone. It was $15. Now, uh, this quad rail went on here about, I guess, five years ago. The reason why it went on here is because at the time I was trying to find uh, an A2 post rail like this, right? And I, I just could not find it anywhere without paying like an insanely stupid price for, you know, basically two little pieces of uh, Picatinny rail, right? So I didn't, I, you know, I thought it was silly to pay like anything more than like 15 to $20 uh, for, for, for this a2 post rail so uh the um the quad rail that you see here right this came from uh aim sports and i did a review on this uh in the past uh this was like 30 dollars so i'm like you know what i'll take the quad rail i'll put it on there so let me get this light off here for a second so i do have i obviously these are stream light lights and I do have like the pressure pad switches that you can mount onto the uh, onto the rifle. I do have one of my AR set up like that with a with, with a you know semi permanent uh, uh, you know light with a pressure pad. On the, in that case, I put it on the off side, and I put the pressure pad on top. Uh, one of the reasons I have found I prefer just to have a light that mounts onto the gun that you can activate with your thumb is that you can take it off if you need to and just use it as a handheld light so that's one of the benefits i have found just being able to mount it like this so before i put this uh a2 uh Picatinny rail there what i would do is i on this one i would mount it right here in the front okay and it would work but it was basically I'd have to hold the gun like really back over here and activate it with my thumb like that. Okay, and here's the thing: if you run into something, you're gonna jab your thumb pretty hard at this. So I never liked that this was just sitting so far back. Now there are other options. I did experiment with like putting a pistol light there, you know, so that would work. Obviously, pistol light uh, is is shorter. They they're about the same. I mean the both this and my pistol lights are about a thousand looms. Um, but, you know, I kind of lived with it. I kind of lived with this setup for, you know, a couple of years, right? So I recently saw this for $15 on Amazon uh, from Tough Zone. And I said, you know what, let's get this and try this out. And I really like it. In fact, I put it on this one over here. Now, this one has a longer handguard. Okay, so I took off the quad rail because this, this rifle here had the quad rail for a number of years. Uh, first thing, as soon as I took that quad rail off, because this is a, a, a longer um, a longer uh, uh, grip over here, it lightened this, up, this gun up significantly. So if you have a long grip like this, if at all possible, stick with the plastic, okay, if you have this type of a setup. Um, and uh, this works great because I can activate this with my thumb. Right, and activate that with my thumb, okay. Um, or even if I want to work this on my offside, I can reach my thumb over the top, and I can activate it like that. So I can. So this has the benefit of being able to work it from either side, uh, lefty or righty. So uh, I've been playing around with this for a couple of weeks now. I said, you know, I like this. I like this a lot better than the quad rail. Let me do the same thing as that one over there. Okay, so on here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off the camera and i'm gonna get this rail off here it comes off pretty easy uh there's two there's four allen screws one two three four then basically you gotta this, this is the pain yes you gotta pull back on this little ring back here and then these will lift out on some guns it comes off easy on some guns it comes off really hard you gotta pull it really back they do make a tool to help you out i don't have the tool so i'm gonna have to uh work at this so let me pause the camera and uh let me do that and i'll come back and I'll show you guys what this film is all right everyone got it done uh, the uh the quadril came out pretty easy 
but getting the plastic, you know, pulling this thing back and getting the plastic ones in there, that took a little bit of work. Uh, it's a lot easier if you have the tool that's designed to do it, but if you don't, you can uh, you can make it work. I actually got to had to pull it back. I used a screwdriver to get just a little bit of leverage and pull the ring back and get it in there. So there it is. That's how it looks. Uh, like definitely lightened up the rifle significantly. Okay, so that's definitely a reason to stick with the plastic ones because these quad rails, you know, it's not like an M-lock rail, right? Which, you know, you just put the rails where you need it. The quad rail, you've got a lot of metal that's that's permanently on this thing. And this one over here is the shorter one. This one's like the, the six inch. If you've got the longer ones, they're, they're gonna be even heavier. Um, right on there. Nice, easy solution. And you can, I can now run this over the top. I couldn't do it before because before the light was like sitting back here. So it was really hard to get my, my thumb behind it. Um, if I was, if I was, you know, working it on the offside. But with this, I can now, I can reach that thumb. I can reach that, that thumb button from either side. So, um, this is a really good solution if you've got this style of an AR. That's also cheaper, right? This thing was only $15. They're not always available. A couple of years ago when I was looking for it, could not find it for a cheap price. Uh, right now they're $15 on Amazon. Uh, it's called Tough Zone. If you got one of these ARs, I definitely recommend it. And, you know, like I said, I've used the quad rail for a number of years, you know, uh, for me to be switching back there, there, there's a good reason for it, okay? Um, a couple other benefits, secondary benefits. Um, the plastic, obviously, if, if you shoot lots of rounds, the heat transfers to this, this will get hotter, right? So if you're shooting like, if you shoot like five, six full magazines, you're not gonna be able to hold this with your, with your bare hand or, you know, at least you, you're just gonna start getting really uncomfortable, okay? Uh, whereas with the plastic, you will be able to hold it. So that's a benefit. Uh, other benefit is uh, the quad rail has lots of sharp edges on it. And not that big of a deal. I mean, I used it for years. But, um, you know, I basically I'm going back to the plastic for other, re other reasons. Primarily that I just want to be able to put the light up there. So given that I'm going back to the plastic, hey, you know what? It's nice that I don't have to deal with sharp edges on this so that's that's you know i mean that wasn't like a deciding issue but hey uh now that i'm there i kind of like that better um so there it is uh i'm able to push this forward i can reach it from either side it's it's pretty cheap um you know it, it, years ago like five years ago my mindset was i want to be ready for anything i want to be able to put anything on the gun that i can possibly use so I had this on them say, hey, at some point if I get some, I don't know, uh, night vision equipment, you know, I can put a mount a night laser on top of that. Uh, I never did, okay? So um, so now my mindset is, you know what? Just put on the rifle what you're gonna need, all right? The things that you know you're gonna need, uh, don't think too far ahead. I mean, yeah, you want an AR uh, that, that you can, you know, it's nice that you, that I, I, hey, I'm gonna, obviously I'm not throwing this out, right? So if down the road I ever decide that, hey, I'm doing something where I need to have a quad rail, I can always put the quad rail back on there. Uh, one of the, you know, uh, one of the reasons why you might want to use the quad rail is if you're using a vertical grip, right? The vertical grip, if you're the kind of guy that likes to hold the rifle like this, yeah, the, the quad rail is good for that. Um, that's not what I do. I, I don't like vertical grips. Um, they, you know, with certain things, certain ways, the way I shoot, they kind of get in the way. You know, I find that the vertical grip just hits a lot of things, uh, adds more weight to the front of the gun. So I don't use vertical grips. So another reason why uh, it's, this is not something that I need to have on the rifle right now. But hey, I mean, I have it. So if I ever do want to put it back on, I can put it back on. So 
for now, this is pretty much how this rifle is going to be. Right? And I've, uh, I already tested it out on this one, shot this for a couple of weeks. I'm like, yeah, this is the way I want to go. I will go back to the plastic on these. Uh, now, I do like the free floating rails better, okay? Uh, years ago, I was kind of like, I don't know, do I like this or I like that? I do tend to like the free, the free floating rails better. Pretty much all of the new ARs that I buy since I purchased these uh, several years ago, uh, they're all free floated rails, right? Free floated M block rails. Uh, but, you know, obviously I'm not getting rid of these. Um, you know, I, I like them. I like them for, I, in fact, the, the fact that these now have the plastic on them, uh, you know, and on this one, I went back and I put the carry handle on there because it's different, you know? So, um, if you're going to have lots of ARs, it might as well be different, right? So that's why it made sense for me to go to the, back to the plastic on this one. I put the, the eight, the, I put the, the carry handle on this. I even mounted the optic on top on, on top of that with this one. I mounted the optic on top of the, uh, the rail over here. So, you know, if you're going to have lots of ARs, you might as well set them up uh, differently so you can have a different experience uh, on, a different, on a different rifle. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.